is off YouTube, golf tube, and perfectly average golfers. Oh my goodness, I'm super freaking pumped today. We are out, still in Dallas. Last round we're gonna play out here while we're here for a workcation, <laughs> mostly a vacation. We're at the Texas Rangers Golf Club, and this is a course that I have wanted to play for a very long time. After watching some friends play it, um, the Golf Gaming Club guys played here, I think, for their scramble. I'm just super pumped about this course because it's just, you feel like it's a little bit of a treat, right? Texas Rangers sponsored, UT Arlington plays here. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're just gonna kind of go out there play to have some fun. We will keep score, obviously. We'll give you a full kind of breakdown of the course if you're someone who's local to the area or someone who's traveling in that wants to know more about the course. I'll say this much, the practice facility is unbelievable. They've got a whole pitching chipping green that's got three different flag locations, three different practice bunkers, super awesome grass and mat range. Oh, it's really, really cool out here. I'm really pumped. It's a little murky, a little overcasty, a little cloudy, but I don't even care. I'm just ready to get into this. So we're gonna try to tip out the course. It's playing 7,000, which is <laughs> long for me, um, but the next closest tee is 64, and that's probably where we should be playing for, but I'm not gonna come all the way out here and not try to tip this course out. So the score may not be necessarily incredible, but I'm still pumped to be out here and doing this. So let's go ahead and get at it. Hole number one is named leadoff. It's a par five and it's big, 589. Although the gold tees are, are literally right in front of the black tees. I'm pumped. Let's go ahead and get at it. See if driver can go straight for us. Didn't really see where that went. I kind of lost it up in the clouds, but I hit it really well. And I think I put a little bit of a fade on it. So the starting line was kind of towards the bunkers. We may be just short. Um, hard to say, we'll go drive and find it. Well, everything's bigger in Texas, including the fairways. Uh, great drive, carried the first bunker just short of the second. We've got like 280 left though, big par five to start. So I got three wheel, we're not gonna get there. We're fighting the wind a little bit. Right in the middle of the fairway, sounds good to me. How about you? That's gonna work great. Small fade, may roll kind of close to that bunker, but it should be pretty darn short of it. Should have a pitch from there. Let's go, baby, good two strokes. You know, sometimes you wake up in the morning, you just feel a different type of way. I felt sore today. <laughs> After our round at Bear Creek, I was feeling it. Hadn't played super aggressively in a long time and felt a little bit, but I'm, I'm just, this is such a treat, man. Even in the middle of January, with it being kind of dark and murky, I'm just, just having a great time. Let's go, let's get at it. Great three wood, sandwich time now. We were great from this distance yesterday. It'd be lovely to replicate that again. We got about 84 yards, wind is going a little left to right, kind of hurting just a touch. Let's see, gotta carry both these bunkers first and foremost, long is fine. That's it. Yeah, wind definitely pushed that to the right, but Clean contact, caught it right in the center of the face. Three great shots to start. All right, so I didn't realize what the green looked like up here. Uh, there was not a lot of space, kind of where the flag is. And this is a steep slope running away from this pin. I think chipping it's gonna put me way off the green. So I'm gonna try to use the old Texas wedge here, appropriate, and see if we can get to the top of this fringe and hopefully it rolls down. This is a really difficult putt. Uh, two putting from here would be awesome actually, if I'm being honest. I'm kind of expecting a three putt, so. Let's see if we can get something close here. Didn't quite get it up. It's not a bad leave actually. The speed was pretty good. I just didn't get it far enough up the, the slope. that slope just a little bit more credit than it deserved, but we learned a lesson. Hole number two, par four, playing 449, nicknamed Line Drive, and you can probably see why. Pretty tight fairway, the bunker on the right is absolutely on play. It's kind of making the landing zone for driver even tighter, and then a slight offset green to the left. We're gonna have driver, let's see if we can hit it straight. Trying to play something closer to the left side of the fairway, hopefully more than something closer to the right in that bunker, which is dangerous. Yeah, 
Yeah. I tried to start it on the left side of the bunker and then draw it back. And we started that a little bit more central than I wanted to, but hey, <laughs> we'll take the contact. Driver's been really doing us pretty nicely. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to find that no problem. Super, super solid drive. That was about a 280 or so drive. <laughs> I would have loved to have been a little bit further to the right, but uh, we've got a shot of the green. It's a little bit blind from where the camera is, but you can kind of see a little bit of collection of trees. That's the same line as where the flag is. There's a bunker guarding close. I don't want to mess with that. So I've got eight iron here with the wind kind of pushing uh, right to left a little bit. Just want to make sure we get there. Should be an easy full swing. That was great. Oh, and we got a kick to the left. That could actually be really close. I think it hit the back side of the green and then started to kick left and roll forward. Great shot. You know, just feeling, just feeling a certain type of way today. I don't know what it is, but it just is. Let's roll with it. Nope, just didn't want to break. <laughs> Part of the second. So, bit of a decision here. When we played at Bear Creek, we didn't hit a single green and regulation on par threes. The wind is really stiff helping right now, and it's playing like 180, 175 based on what I'm getting off of my uh, GPS. So, I really kind of want to hit seven, but I just really don't want to be short. So I'm gonna take an easy, an easy swing with the six iron. Hopefully we can find the green and red. <laughs> that was the exact right call. It faded on me a little bit. I wanted to push that right because the wind on the flag for the green is coming right to left, but uh, didn't really push left. <laughs> <laughs> Got a bit of a fade spin on it, but hey, it's a green regulation. Better than last time. Now this pin position, someone had some emotional damage done with them lately. That is right on the top of a ridge. Uh, so we got to get up it. It's going to go right to left to start. Left to right, I think, up the hill. And then if we go too hard, it'll come back right to left away from the hole. This is a really difficult pin position. Um, I'm going to try to take this, I think, probably close to right at it. I think it's probably going to even out on how these brakes are coming. Speed is everything for this putt. Pretty poor effort. <laughs> I think I pushed it a little bit, but it didn't have that early right to left uh, like I thought I did. So testy par putt here. Right in the heart. Hole number four, par four playing 372. It's called Upper Deck, and you can kind of see why. A lot of bunkers kind of trying to guard if you wanted to go for maybe a cutoff of this slight dog leg to the left. Um, not gonna bother with that. The wind is coming again, so I think driver would be fine, but we're just gonna take three wood here. Um, I think a solid three wood would give us a pitching wedge, nine iron at most, into the screen, so no need to get too cute. Just gonna play this one nice and safe. Right down the middle. All right, we got about 150, 145. I would normally play a nine iron to this distance, but we're going against some elevation and also the wind. So I'm gonna take that same easy swing we just had with the six iron, but I'm gonna be playing a 160 shot here at the eight. So let's see, we've been hitting the ball pretty well so far, see if we can keep that up. Probably the best golf of my life right now. <laughs> what a view this is. Holy Texas. <laughs> come on, come on. Let's go! 
Keep this mojo running even par on five. It's called double play, playing 440, and the whole idea is you've got a fairway to the left and a fairway to the right. It's about 250 to get to the fairway on the left. That doesn't include the, um, the, the downhill lie that the fairway is kind of playing at, and we've got a helping wind, so why would we play safe? We're gonna take driver, try to hit it kind of on the same line as those bunkers, and hope we get a little bit of a draw back. Let's find out. Super solid contact. We definitely cleared. <laughs> um, however, we played the right line. We just didn't get any draw. It went dead straight. So I don't know if that's going to be bunker. Um, it may have actually hit the mounds on the right side and then kicked right. I'm kind of hoping for that. Uh, we'll see. It was super solid drive. Let's get going. Well, no need to worry about the bunkers. We cleared that. The cart is saying that we just hit that drive. 360 yards. I'm telling you, this doesn't happen ever. <laughs> Let's convert. Super, super tight lie here. This fairway is really, really thin. Got about 88 yards, helping wind. Gonna just get good contact with sandwich here. <laughs> Whoops. We definitely do not want to push this thing or thin it along. Let's get it on, huh? Let's stop overthinking it. Let's hit the ball. Gotta go a little bit. Whoa. Nice shot. Hey, we're on. We got an uphill birdie putt. We'll take it even though it's just a little bit heavy. Happy with it. All right, you got about 38 feet up the hill. I've got it just a touch left to right, I think. I'm just kind of walking the line. I feel it left to right. Let's see. Slow down. We uh. gave it a chance. We read it largely correctly, too. Can't be mad about that putt. <laughs> Let's go. Hole number six, nicknamed Pop-Up, second par three. Playing 132 by the card, but the tee box is actually super forward. It's probably playing closer to 120 today. Um, wind is coming heavy left to right. I think we're gonna choke up on a pitching wedge to make sure we can get it all the way there. Hold, 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 hold. I just, I just don't have that distance in the bag for a full swing. I choked up and wanted to go easy, like a three quarter swing of the pitching wedge. And maybe with the wind, I should have hit sand wedge, but oh well, we gotta get up and down. Another difficult decision here between chipping and putting because I've got a super big slope here to the right that's gonna push everything to the left. And I think trying to chip off this tight lie doesn't really allow us to carry, oh man, I don't know. That was really good. Number seven, 346, it's called Gap Hitter. And the biggest reason why is you've got a bunker in the front, a big landing space, bunkers deeper, and a tight landing space next to that. So you can get aggressive with driver if you're feeling really accurate, which I am. However, there's just no need to try to risk that, put something in those trees, or in a weird bunker shot that would give me like 100 yards. That's a weird distance for a bunker shot. So I'm gonna go four hybrid here. I think about a 200 yard shot, and it looks like off that first right bunker, it slopes down towards the middle of the fairway. So we're gonna take a line a little bit more right than left. left than I want, but that should still be fairway. 
there was really, I don't think there's any way we got all the way to those trees, so we should be good. So we actually did get to the trees and then beyond it, this shot rolled to about 230 yards off the tee box. Huge surprise. I think if we would have taken three wood or something, we actually could have gotten up in the space to the left of the bunkers. I did not expect that to be the case. Uh, but we are kind of in this weird wooded area. Trees shouldn't be too much of a problem. I've got sand wood at 100 yards left to play. I'm a little worried about these trees up top, so I'm gonna try to place a little bit more off the back foot and see if we can get this thing to kind of come out a little bit lower than we normally would. We'll see, we're talking through it nicely. Let's see if we can execute nicely. A little left, but it's on. Humiliation. Ah. Had that coming right to left at the end, just didn't want to do it. All right, par baby. All right, hole number eight, par four, 461, aptly named long ball. <laughs> there is some water up to the left. Um, the fairway looks a lot closer than it actually is, especially considering that the wind is coming straight again. So we've got driver, uh, just gonna try to take it right up the middle. It's gonna leave us probably like 200 yards in though. So we've got a really long par four here. I think four is a really good number for this hole. Let's see how the first drive goes though. down but it's gonna be right super unfortunate situation ball hit this mound and then rolled down into the bunker uh, so we're not gonna be able to get there on this already long hole I've got nine iron because I gotta get over this lip and uh, well anything in the fairway would be fine that's fine yeah right in the middle of the fairway had to kind of take the medicine there without lie all right, so the medicine was great. Put us right in the middle of the fairway. I got about 125-ish to the middle of the green, um, but with a heavy wind coming against, I don't think pitching wedge is gonna be the right number. The pin also looks to be pretty far back. Easy nine iron. It's gonna be way too much club, so we gotta hit it nice and easy. Get over the bunker. Yeah. Right side of the green. Wind is also pushing a little off the right, so the wind definitely took that a bit. Uh, but we're on the green. Let's see if we can make that for par. Come on, oh. keep going. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, not a bad bogey. That was a really good chip. I thought it was gonna go in for a second. All right, hole number nine, a monster. Around the horn, 605 yards, and today it's playing dead on into a stiff headwind. Ooh, we got some bunkers guarding the opening tee shot, and with this wind, driver should be fine. And then we go steep dog leg to the right, and then I think it actually goes uphill to finish. So this hole's gonna play closer to like 750, 800 yards. A five on the card would be incredible with these conditions. I think that should be really good. Uh, it kind of faded. I don't know if it got enough to get over the bunker, but it was on that line. Hopefully that's good. All right, we actually faded off the bunker a little bit and there's water covering the, the next approach shot. So we actually can't even hit three wood here. We're gonna go four hybrid against this wind, playing about a 200 yard shot right over the top of these two trees close to the fairway and give ourselves a good look for our third. Nikes, that's so fady. Stay in play. That is, that is not good. Yikes. I probably should have thought that with the ball up like it was that I was gonna get a pretty heavy draw. <sighs> that's tough. 
We're making this hole a lot harder than it needs to be. It's already hard enough. <laughs> All right, we still got a ways to go here. Um, with the wind, it's playing probably close to 220. I've got five wood. I don't really see where the pin is. We're gonna kind of just go over the top of this tree, hopefully. Again, I'm figuring there's gonna be a bit of a draw lie here. Let's see, five wood in hand. Came left off the club face, hit it really well. It should be in line with the green, it's just gonna be left. Holy scramble. <laughs> All right, difficult lie here, but we're in play. We're actually past pin high, so it's a really nice five wood. Um, <laughs> just gotta hope something gets up that we have a par putt. That's all we can pray for now. Slow down. Yeah, should be an uphill putt. We can still try to get a five. Oh my God. Hello, darkness. Ah. <laughs> uh, we had a look at it. All right. Whoo, average golfers. The conditions got a little fuzzy on those final three holes here in the front nine. We still shot two over from 7,000 yards, tipping out Texas Rangers Golf Club. Uh, did not expect to do that when I woke up today, although I was feeling a little feisty when we woke up. Uh, this is a really, <laughs> this is such a cool experience, man. Um, if you're traveling into Dallas, if you live in the DFW area, you gotta come out and play this course. Uh, weekday times are actually pretty, pretty cheap, uh, honestly, considering the facilities that you have and everything else. So, unbelievable stuff. Plus two through the front nine. Feeling like we're playing the best golf that we've ever played. We'll be jumping right on into the back nine in the second part. So make sure you subscribe, like, follow along, and get those notifications for when the next part comes live. Till that point, make sure you stay perfectly average. So long.